Hey guys, so I'm finishing up here at the beach house. We're gonna run back to the regular house. I figured I'd talk about a few things. I talk about fall cutting height. We've gone from the 90s, we're going into the 80s, and next month maybe a little bit of the 70s. What do we need to do as far as fertilization and cutting height? I just got the new reel mower, thank God, on this zoysia, and I've taken that zoysia down to about an inch. It's newly seeded, so I don't wanna take it too low. Inch, inch and a quarter is where I'm cutting it. Man, it looks so good. Uh, I'll cut it for you and I'll show you some projects that we're doing around the beach house and the first thing I'll do is a bunch of guys asked uh, what kind of fish in my kitchen so let me show you a clip from the other day I had a crazy day catching off the beach now this is off the beach okay so someone was asking what kind of fish I was catching so I figured I'd show you guys uh, I'm using live bait there's a ton of mullet that's running right now and we're using slider rigs we put a big weight uh, and a single hook just have lines out nothing crazy but you got to see these fish so I have an aerator system here a little 12 volt battery bubble pump aerator five gallon bucket but dude look at this stud look at that stud <laughs> that is a stud that is a stud Spanish mackerel right there and I've got two more and a big old trout look at that now that my friends is good fishing and I'm on the inlet I'm not even on the main ocean I'm just fishing the inlet right in here and the uh, mullet are coming through here so thick to cray off I'm getting a bite right now I think let's see if I am I'm gonna have to put that phone down uh, fall cutting hike you know I've always said I've kind of always sort of lean towards letting your grass get a little bit taller as the weather gets cooler not anymore I think it makes more work in the springtime and it really doesn't do that much so I what I'm telling you is if you have a warm season grass and let's say you're cutting it at one inch or whatever you're cutting it just leave it at that height leave it that height for the fall but I want to talk about feeding it right now and what you need to be feeding while we're still have temperatures in the 80s and this is Georgia so I'm gonna have September will all be in the 80s. Probably October will be in the 80s. And I won't cool off into the cooler weather until November. So I can still put down PGF complete. But my last feedings need to be PGF balance. And why is that? It's because we don't wanna be dumping down fertilizers that are slow release fertilizers that are gonna feed six to eight weeks when we have a cold front moving in in two or three weeks. So if you wanna do a late season fertilization, like let's say October, when it starts to get cool in the 70s, put down a little bit of PGF balance. Just put down a little bit of PGF balance. It's the same thing we use for our jumpstart program in the spring, works really well. If you have some green chalker, which sold out two hours by the way, and we'll, we'll be making some more for you, if you have some green chalker, the fall is a great time to use it. Even you cool season guys, green chalker is great for that. So uh, the pool pump's running, that's what you're gonna hear in the background. We are gonna get a little fence around this pool pump and I talked to my fence guy. He is, we originally had a vinyl picket fence on order. I've canceled that and we're gonna go to a hand-built wooden fence. So I'll be able to put that on video. But I wanted to show you a pathway we did. Now these pavers came from Home Depot and so what we've done on the back is we have added, Cassie's up there barking, we have uh, a newly seated green area back in here. We added these white pebbles over to the pool area, but we wanted some kind of walkway because these pebbles hurt the feet when you walk. So we bought these big pavers and we laid down some sand. And let me tell you what, it makes all the difference in the world. It really makes this area look sort of planned out. Now, of course, we've got all of the gardens planted all the way around, which I've already walked you through. Oop, there's a glass lizard right there. Right there is a little glass lizard. Where are you, buddy? There he is, look at him. Now, that's not a snake. That's actually a lizard right there. <laughs> oh. That'll scare the heck out of you if you're not ready, because I killed a cotton mouth in here last week. Um, but all these gardens, you can see them in here. They're coming along really nicely. I've mulched them all real heavy. Over in here as well, too. These are all doing really nice. 
So I'm really happy with the back. So let me go and uh, grab the real mower real quick and show it to you. So the neighbor's kids are playing baseball across the street. I just finished cutting the grass. Um, I've got the irrigation system running. I have a shallow well pump here. You can see what a fantastic job that real mower is doing on this rough, rough, brand new Zoysia lawn. That's just looking great. Oh, I just got wet. <laughs> Doc just got his little stuff sprayed there. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? So in one of my last videos, I showed you my neighbor's beehives had honey from them, but. So here's what I did. Uh, I've been using my COVID lawnmower, my cheap rotary for the longest time. I called my buddy down at the distributor from McLean, and I said, look, I really need a real mower here. What do you got in stock that's cheap? You got anything open, used? And he said, look, I got a demo that got returned. I'll sell it to you real cheap, so I bought that one. I don't get them free, I bought it. So, this is a 25 inch GR series with a roller. I link to these down below, and this is what I recommend. I always recommend a 25 inch. I have a small front yard, it's only about 5,000 square feet, but because it's 25 inch, man, it just cuts this stuff perfect with all those bumps all across the front. Got that thing. Man. So, what am I putting down? I am putting down a uh, when we seeded this, we brought in all dirt. This whole thing was dirt. This whole front lawn was dirt. There was not a stitch of grass left. We seeded it with zoysia. I linked to the zoysia down below, and I put down PGF balance to begin with because I did a soil test, but new seed and new turf, light PGF balance, light PGF balance. Now I've switched over, like you guys should be doing, PGF complete, and I'm gonna keep putting PGF complete, light coats. We got temperatures in the 80s, dude. This is perfect for warm season grass light coats every three or four weeks just a light coat of pgf complete pgf complete if you have green shocker go ahead and put some green shocker i put a light coat of green shocker down that's the new granular i talked to anderson's by the way they are going to do another run in a couple of weeks and the only thing i'm going to do is i'm not going to tell you on a video i will send out an email so go to the website and sign up for the email list and that way you'll get notified when more green chakra is available all right, what else do I got to show you? Hold on. Well, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and just put up the real mowing because I'm tired. I got up at I've been up since 4:50. <laughs> Went fishing this morning, came back, cut the grass, did a whole bunch of plantings. Man. I gotta tell you, that just looks phenomenal. For two and a half month old zoysia lawn, brand new, that is great. So here's just a quick note. Uh, back in the, I think it was the 1700s, they brought settlers out here to this island and the majority of them died or had to leave because the soil couldn't grow crops. So they couldn't sustain themselves. It's basically sand, it's all sand. And then you hit oyster shells at some point. So how are my gardens growing? Well, the early settlers didn't have Amazon and Dirt Booster because that's what I'm using. Let me show you. So most of these over here are from seed. These are my zinnia plants. And you can see the garden's doing really well here. But I'm going to show you what I'm doing over here. So this is, this is when you dig down in the soil here on a beach island, this is what you get. You basically have sand, and that's it. <laughs> Not much is gonna grow in it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking Dirt Booster, which has the corn concentrate, molasses particles, biochar, and humic acid, and I'm just dumping it in the soil real heavy, and I'm just gonna turn it, and then I'm gonna spray it with a microbial pack. So I'm going to cut open the microbial pack here, and 
pour it into this carefully. And that has the good fungus and good microbes and it'll make that come alive. So that's all planted, treated with a dirt booster and they'll be doing really well. So I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that right there. Still have some bare spots on there that were reseeding, but overall, man, this place is looking fantastic. Well, this line that you see here, it's the strings is actually gonna be our picket fence. Like I said, I canceled the vinyl one and he's gonna come out, Kurt's, my fence guy is gonna come out and build um, a wood picket fence. But man, this was solid black dirt two and a half months ago. And for a first year zoysia lawn, it's fantastic. Again, PGF balanced for the first six to eight weeks. Now I've converted over to PGF complete. And if I can get a hold of some green shocker, I'll put some green shocker on it. But man, that is just looking phenomenal. So we're getting ready to head back to the house. And uh, we're gonna go back uh, Wednesday. Today is, I think, Monday. So we're heading back Wednesday and I'll be able to show you the lawn. Now, Ryan, my son, has been taking care of the house. He's been up there cutting uh, a little bit of garden work. I told him not to worry too much about the garden. The Good Witch has been helping out a little bit on the garden too. So it'll be interesting to go back there. I haven't done anything. We haven't put down any treatments. <laughs> this has been like, what, five weeks? So uh, it'll be interesting to go back there and I'll show you guys, hit subscribe, and uh, talk to you later. Talk.